It is time to talk real estate. Ozzy Jerk joins us now. Hello, Ozzy. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you and your listeners and viewers. Let's talk about, of course, the numbers. The numbers yeah. are out for the, the month of December, comparing them to December of 07. How do they look? Well, look pretty tough. If you go right across the country, we have a, a real crunch down in the volume of sales and a really rising of the listing inventory. Let's and take a look at some of them. Sure. If you go, for instance, to Toronto, you see a 45% decline in sales and a 49% increase in listings. And whether it's Edmonton, 29% down and 11%. Uh, actually, Edmonton is down 11% in listings, but against 2006, is still up almost 200% in listings. Mm -hmm. Calgary, 47% plus 21 in listing. Vancouver, 51% down in sales, 83% increase in listings. In fact, in used condominiums, Vancouver is up some 110% in uh, listings. So well. are these detached homes, like all listings? <coughs> No, this would be all listings. It's okay. just all the, this is the active listings that are for sale of all properties in the previous months that haven't sold it at a month end in December. The big thing to remember is that we're comparing ourselves to the banner year of 2007. Mm -hmm. If we measured ourselves against 2006, the picture would be a lot better. And as we go right into April, they're going to look a lot worse because the biggest increases we had in, in prices and sales were last year in, until April. Well, every, everybody wants to know about the price, so let's yes. look at the percentage change sure. in the price. And no question, we've seen some price declines. Toronto, and these are December prices. They, they have really sharply reversed in Toronto, minus 8, Edmonton minus 6, Calgary minus 10. Wow. Vancouver only about 1% down, Fraser Valley 8, and then Vancouver Island 3. Now, these price declines are mostly all in the last three months. If you looked at the year-to-date prices, mm -hmm. you'd see them actually still having increased. But the, really, the market has turned the last three months with a vengeance. Uh, so, a projection, Ozzy, how much lower is it going to go? Prices, I guess, particularly. Well, well I think there is, uh, there's no question with all the negative news, you know, buyers are backing off, realtors are telling us, look, you know, we have buyers that want to buy, but they're worried that by the time they close, it's down some more. And so once we have, we have to get out of that philosophy and that kind of a, uh, an attitude of really negativism. And so I would think that this will affect the market some more, certainly for the next six months. And we have to get out of that negatives, uh, negatives. Yeah. <laughs> whatever, because I can't say it. <laughs> but um, yeah. people also need to be really prudent right now. They need to, to look for deals. So yeah, but the thing is, what blows me away is that we, for some reason, think that a good market is when six buyers wrestle each other to the ground in the living room of the seller and one emerges victoriously, haven't paid 100000 too much for the property. When today, for your family and for, for yourself, you can create a circumstance where the realtor has time, you can make an offer and get a good home for yourself. If any person had purchased in the previous tough times, from 1982 and 87 and 70, 74 and 1991, all of those tough, tough times, they would have done very well for themselves. In fact, the best deals come about in down markets, not up markets. Okay, so let's take a look then if you have to sell your home. You shouldn't be afraid if you have to sell your home right now, and there's ways that you can look and see what your home is worth. Yeah, actually, the fantastically, the BC Assessment Authority has a wonderful website. It's bcassessment.bc.ca, and you can enact, not only assess your own home in terms of assessments, but until March 15, and only until March 15, you can also assess all of the houses and, and condos that sold around you. So if you type, go to the website, type in your address, you get a really good market evaluation. And you can also find out whether your neighbor told you the truth when they told you what they got <laughs> for their home. <laughs> And that's only until March 2009, that's, Aussie? That's right, only until March 15. The, the, the assessment authority makes it available for, for a couple of months. All right. Well, as we all know, real estate is still a very good investment. And if you want to learn more information, you're holding a Land Rush conference this Fabulous coming Saturday. Fabulous US, Canada. You know, it's on Saturday, January the 24th. We have seven speakers. It's an all-day event. It's fantastic. We have 20 display booths. Anything to do with taxes or forming companies in the United States, where to buy, what to buy, and more important, what not to buy on the outlook for Canada and US. Ozzy, thank you so much for this. Thanks for having me. And if you have any more questions, www.jerk.com if you want to purchase a copy of his newsletter, 604-683-1111.